Good morning and a beautiful day to you. How are you doing today? It's another beautiful day in India. The sun is up, the sky is blue, not a cloud in sight, and I've got most of the beach to myself. Now today we are going to carry on our exploration of the beaches of Goa. We're now in what I call Central Goa, which is below Vasco da Gama, but north of Palalam area. So let's go and have a look at the beaches that are on offer here. Welcome to one of Goa's oldest beaches, Culver Beach. Now being the closest beach to Margao, the town in this area, when the Portuguese were here, this became a popular place for goers and the Portuguese elite to escape the dust of the city and relax over the weekends. Now, would you believe in the 1500s when the Portuguese were here, this entire stretch of beach, which I'll show you how big it is in a little while, was owned by one family. Yep. And they built the first building on this beach. Now, thankfully, times change. Nowadays, the beach is open to all and it is quite a busy beach and it is a lovely beach to come and see it's a broad beach you can swim in some sections quite nicely which are marked out with lifeguards and flags but as you arrive on the beach you usually come in a place called the circle which is the main road from Margao where it hits the beach now I would say to you unless you want to do the activities don't stay at that part of the beach if you want to do dolphin watching or parasailing or go on a boat trip that's where you organize it and that but everyone tends to stay on the area it's very busy and hectic not as clean as the rest of the beaches in the area and not as clean as the rest of the beach take a walk left or right from there you just have to walk a few hundred meters the shacks peter out the people peter out the boats disappear off the beach and you have this lovely broad beach which is great to spend the day it's a, it's a good place for families again there's shacks and restaurants dotted along the beach the ones in the circle aren't the best ones, so walk a little bit along the beach in one direction, find one of the shacks that sits by itself. They have the sunbeds that you can use outside, so you can chill on a sunbed, order drinks, and have a nice day on this beautiful beach. In the meantime, let me show you what it's like. Welcome to one of the more popular beaches in this area of the Goan coast. This is Majorda Beach. It is a wide beach as it deep goes away. It's not a huge long beach, although it, there is a lot of space here. Um, and there's only a handful of places to eat dotted along this very pretty beach. You can see why it's a popular beach as it is beautiful. The sand is soft and slowly slopes down into the water. You can swim here with caution. There is lifeguards and there's areas marked for swimming, which is great. And in the center is where everything is based, where there's one or two activities available and a few shacks and bars and restaurants for drinks and meals. But there is plenty space. If you just walk a little bit away from that central area, there is vast stretches of empty beach. So if you want some privacy, it's big enough and there's plenty of room for everyone who wants to come here, enjoy some peace and quiet, and have their own private beach. Let's show you around Majorda Beach.
Mm -hmm. Now this is one of the quieter beaches in the area. This is lovely Utoda Beach. It has beautiful white squeaky soft sand that gently slopes down into the sea. Now, the sea here is quite good for swimming in as well. So it's a good place to sunbathe and swim in the sea, which is nice. And behind it's lined with palm trees and pine trees, which provide shade for the handful of places that are dotted along the beach, serving meals and snacks and drinks, of course. Now, it's not a very busy beach, the, and the shacks are nicely spaced apart, so you get a shack, a few sunbeds, somewhere to eat, a little bit of space, another one, and there is really only a handful along. It's not a huge beach, but it's not a small beach either, but, uh, but it is a nice beach. And if you want to stay in this area, dotted behind those palm and pine trees behind the beach, there is quite a good selection of accommodation. It's not huge, but you can get some budget up to luxury accommodation along here, which is very nice, but it's not a busy area. So if you want somewhere quiet, both on the accommodation side and on the beach side, this is actually quite a nice place to stay. Bring a book, your swimming gear, a little bit of cash for drinks, then come down to the beach, Pick a nice sunbed in a nice quiet location and relax the day away on Utorda Beach. Let's show you what it's like. This is good, this is the way to relax. Between Culver Beach and Varka Beach is this quiet, long, beautiful stretch of beach, Benaulim Beach. It is a good beach for swimming because there's no rocks and it's quite open. You can't swim out too far, but it is quite shallow for a bit and it's quite quiet. There's no big rough waves here for most of the year. Um, there is a few shacks line and, and uh, resorts lining the beach. They're not all grouped together, which is really nice. Makes it feel really spread out. There's almost two kilometers of beach here. So there's plenty of room. They're not all piled on top of each other. You've got a shack and a few sunbeds and shades and then a gap. So if you want to sit somewhere, order some drinks and have a meal, no problem. Walk a few paces. You could have a lovely bit of beach all to yourself. If you to drink and eat at the restaurant you can use the sunbed for free there's no charge for that there is also plenty of accommodation lining the beach road just behind the beach uh, from simple shacks and guest houses to full aircon rooms in resorts really is a lovely the sand is also nice and soft as i said there's no rocks it is fairly busy and it's a really beautiful mix of everything here there's some people walking their cows down to wash and drink there's lots of local tourists there's lots of foreign tourists there's a whole mix of everything here which is really nice so you've got a bit of space and you've got a bit of things to watch so let me show you a little more around this beach Lovely. Now we have arrived at Varka Beach. Now this is a beautiful, what, soft white sand beach that stretches for two kilometers along the coast here. A small river runs parallel to the beach, which means access to the beach is restricted by these little bridges that you have to cross, either in the resorts that dot here or just some of the public paths have little bridges across the river so you can get onto this beach. And it is gorgeous, it is huge and is one of the quieter beaches in the whole of the coast, especially for its size, really is lovely. It's not developed that much on the beach. There is a handful of shacks with lots of spaces in between them. So I'm in a shack here, it's like 100 meters before the next one. They do have sunbeds that spill out onto the beach. So if you're eating or drinking here, you can go and sit in the sunbed free of charge, or you can sit at the sunbed and they'll bring you your food and drinks there. Luxury, hey? Um, 
It pretty much always remains quiet this beach. It's a little bit off the beaten track. It's not very well signposted off the main road either. So it's almost a little bit of a secret, but it does have a bit of everything and hardly anybody. So nice and quiet. So if you want somewhere with plenty space, a bit of privacy away from everything, but a gorgeous beach, sunset will be direct out there as well. So a good sunset view like most of the beaches along Goa, to be honest. Um, the sea is okay for swimming in, it's a little bit rough, so you'd have to be able to swim to go out in there, but it's still nice. And there is lots of accommodation lining here as well. Now, there's no accommodation actually on the beach, it's in the road behind the beach, and the, the grounds from the accommodation spill down onto the beach. Um, and most of the accommodation along this area, it leans much more towards the high-end, four and five-star resorts and hotels along here. So it, um, if you fancy somewhere, <coughs> excuse me, where you're going to be a little more spoiled and you want that little pampered luxury and a beautiful beach and a bit of space and peace and quiet Varka Beach is the option for you let's show you the beach and the surroundings And here we are at Cavalossum Beach. Now, it is a beautiful beach. White sand, lovely sea for swimming in. Doesn't have that much shade in terms of trees along it, but on the south end of the beach, there's a river running in it, running uh, from inland into the sea. And there's a beautiful stretch of white, stress, white sand going up the coast. As I say, there's a few trees along parts of the coast, but it's not your palm fringe beach. So you have to be selective on where you get your shade. Now, uh, there is a few shacks and restaurants and cafes lined, especially on the entrances to the beach, selling drinks and snacks with sunbeds spilling out the front, some with brollies, some without brollies, depending on the level of toasting that you want to give yourself. Um, usually if you eat or drink something in the restaurant, you can use the sunbeds for free. But it's not as busy a beach as it first looks when you come on. You come on and there's all these sunbeds and things here, but you just walk onto the beach, walk left and right, for 100 meters, you'll have an entire section of beach to yourself. So whether you want all the facilities at hand and a sunbed and, and a waiter and a drink at the wave of a hand, or if you want a little bit more personal space, Cavalossum has something to offer you. Uh, you can also organize trips here. You can do dolphin trips, snorkel trips. I think they can all, also order diving. I see a sign for diving over there. Um, and you can do the river cruise as well. Cavalossum is a quiet beach, it's not too busy. You can relax and enjoy the peace and quiet on the beach with just a few minutes walk. And also, if you want a bit more upscale accommodation, this is a good area to look because there is quite a few four and five star hotels dotted around just behind the beach. So if you want something a little better, this is quite a good option. There is also a few cheaper and mid-range budget options available as well. Now, let's get on the beach and show you how beautiful it is. 